Hi, I'm Jocelyn and I worked with Lily and Brenna on the following presentation about the app Dailyo. The app as shown on the left is a type of journal. Whenever you open the app, you pick your mood in a couple different areas and select some activities and goals that you feel you need to improve on. You collect data daily and the app helps you figure out ways to meet your goals. Keeping a journal really keeps people accountable and helps people reach their goals faster and more frequently. We related this back to the Healthy People 2020 and the aspect of mental health. This really helps you um, pay attention to the way that you feel about different things by journaling it and actually taking the time out of your day to think about these things. It helps you to not only want to improve these things, but you do improve them. Some people also may realize that they need help and they're more likely to seek that help now that they have realized that. Social cognitive theory says that the social environment, the personal characteristics of the individual, and behavior interact and influence each other. We were able to relate this theory back to our app mainly because of the constructs below. In the following slides, I will talk more in depth about a few of these constructs. Self-control is kind of a self-explanatory definition. This is gaining control over own behavior through monitoring and adjusting. This is a perfect example in Dalio because Dalio is meant for setting goals and becoming a better you. Through Dalio, you slowly work on self-control by figuring out what things impact you positively and negatively and promoting those positive things and cutting out the negatives. I would also like to touch on reinforcement because this is a very good one for this app. As you can tell from the title, Dailyo is something that you do daily, which obviously reinforces your goals. And then you will receive notifications throughout the day, which you can customize. Therefore, you can make the notifications something that will affect you and make you want to get to work. On the note of reciprocal determinism, that is the idea that a person's behavior both influences and is influenced by personal factors in the environment. This is a very good example in the Dailyo app because the main thing that it focuses on is mood and how different aspects of your life affect your mood. You use the app to figure out if there are certain things that you need to cut out or maybe something that you need to do more often because it makes you in a happier mood. Self-efficacy is an individual's belief in their capacity to execute behaviors necessary to produce specific performance attainments. Dalio helps do this through the statistics that they make in different charts. These show what moods you are most commonly in and help show your progress throughout. Seeing progress can really help a person believe in themselves, which is the whole idea of self-efficacy. Looking at the app as a whole, it has several strengths. Some of those would include reminders and the ability to customize those Reminders, the app also does a good job at tracking your mood and activities and creating the statistics that help you look at your progress to keep you motivated. The app allows you to log in multiple times throughout the day, and it also allows you to create your own goals from the beginning, which is very good because it is customized for you. Also, when you log in, you're able to add notes. So it is like a journal or a diary, which is good to look back on if you're wondering why you were in a certain mood that day. When we take a look at the ways that the app could improve, this would include going more in depth into mental health, not relating it so much to just physical factors. Also, 
unfortunately in the free app you can only set one goal at a time you cannot set multiple goals and the premium is focused more on being customized however it's not really worth the money in most people's eyes so I believe that this app should decrease the cost in order to reach out to more people. Thank you for listening to our presentation and I hope you enjoyed.